Hello, I'm John Paul. I'm here at Rimmer Brothers today to put some front disc and pads on this Range Rover L322. Request this catalogue from uh, Rimmer Brothers on the L322 that you can get on here, you can look at all the parts you need, get all the part numbers before you go on the website and then you can order them properly. I'm first going to whiz the wheels off. I'm going to use a windy gun, but obviously you can use a bar if you want. Put that down to one side, put it into a bit of a lock, we can see the brake caliper. So that's the first thing we're going to take off, is the brake caliper. Let's just run through what we're going to do first. There's the outside spring clip on the uh, brake caliper, so we'll lever it forward with the screwdriver, and there's two little hooks that go in the little holes there, so we'll remove that clip. There's two little plastic lugs on the back of the caliper where the two 7mm uh, Allen key bolts are to remove the caliper. So remove the clip, two little plastic clips, uh, to 7mm allen key, then we can pull the caliper off. We can then 6mm allen key for the uh, disc retaining bolt, we'll remove that. Then we'll remove the caliper carrier, and then we'll remove the disc. Going to move the, re remove the spring clip from the front of the brake caliper. <coughs> then the two plastic bungs that give us access to the allen keys to remove the caliper. So 7mm allen key, Get these out of the way. <clears throat> now we can remove the caliper. Let's put it out of the way. You see how low these pads are here, look. So just push that one out of the piston. Got the clip on the back. And then the other one removed from the caliper. And just place the caliper out of the way to so make sure it's not going to hang on the flexible brake hose. You don't want to damage that. I mean, it's possible you, you might want to just get, put a cable tie around that just to hold it in place. Now we're going to remove the, um, the caliper carrier. We just stick 16mm socket onto the back of the carrier. These are tight. You really need a fair old bar to undo them. Get both of these off. Then we can remove the carrier. With the last bolt out, we can remove the carrier. Uh, we will be cleaning up these bits, but I'll show you that in a short while. So place that to one side and get your 6mm Allen key onto the disc retaining bolt. Give it a quick snap. Take that off. And then you can remove the disc. You might need to just get a hammer just to tap the disc off. They do get tight around that spigot. So we'll just tap the back of the disc and remove the disc. We will just need to clean up this spigot before we put the new disc back on. These are the new discs and pads we're going to be fitting. Well, these are the new pads and this is the old one. You can see how much they've worn um, so they were definitely ready to be changed. So we're just going to clean the surface of the discs up with some uh, brake cleaner, give them a good wipe and clean and then we'll fit them. We are going to just copper grease inside the, um, the um, stub and also we'll copper grease the retaining bolt. I've put copper grease around the hub, so now I'm going to pop the disc on. Then we're going to replace the retaining bolt. Just nip that up. Then we're going to get the caliper carrier, and we're going to clean up where the pads sit. Just want to be cleaning up in these areas here. This is where the, uh, the, the lugs of the pads sit, both sides, top and bottom. They just do get a build-up of rust over time, so just get your file. Give them a really good... A really good clean right into the corners just to get rid of all the loose rust and then we'll just paint a little bit of copper grease on those and then we'll refit the caliper carrier. Put the carrier back in place, copper grease both the bolts and just get it positioned in there and put the bolts back in and then tighten them up. Then we'll get onto the caliper, push the piston back then fit the pads. I'm going to push the piston back into the caliper now. I mean, there's loads of little devices you can get. You can get the things that clamp in there, you can screw in. I've got a pair of grips. 
So we just grab hold and we'll just squeeze the piston nice and steady all the way back in. And once it's all the way back in, we can then get the brake pad. This is the one that goes into the piston with a clip on. So you need to pop it in there, push the piston so it locates inside the piston, get the other brake pad and slip it into the caliper carrier and then you can fit the whole thing back which I'll show you in a second. And with both pads back in place we can replace the caliper. Just be careful you're not twisting the, um, the flexible brake hose. Sometimes if you twist it one, one way round it will it'll make a mess of that. So then you get the two little caliper slider bolts, push them back in, put a bit of copper grease on them first, make sure they're nice and clean and then just be careful locating them and we can screw both of those in tight and put the two little uh, plastic lugs back on. What remains now is to put the spring clip back on. So if you just get it into place, squeeze it in, make sure the lugs sit the right side of the caliper, pop that in. make sure they're in properly. That's it, then we can put the wheel back on and do the other side. Fitting the disc and pads on the left hand side is exactly the same as the right hand side bar the pad wear sensor. So this is the old one now, you can see the wear sensor is worn through so this is the wire we need to replace. We clip the new pad sensor onto the pad and then just slide the wire through the hole in the caliper <coughs> and refit your pad into the piston you'll see the spring clips that go in there okay then you can just pop the caliper back into place and then it's just a case of re-threading the wire exactly the same way as you took it out so there's fairly self-explanatory nice little clip holes and there's a little black plastic box on the inner wing which you'll have seen when you took the old wire out and plug it back in shut the box And then we're ready to just do the caliper bolts back up.